Guess who's back, guys? Archie's back. Only something's different, because now he doesn't like strawberry milkshakes. <gasps> Find out more on Gingerdale. Hello, and here we go. My goodness, this episode was intense. So many things happened this week. It's, I definitely thought it was several episodes in one. I was going to say, mm -hmm. it's like they had nothing going on for four episodes, yes. so they had to jam four episodes. I was about to say, because last week I was like, why is nothing going on? We're just going in circles. And this <laughs> week it was just like four straight lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about Archie, right? He came back. And of course, the first thing he does is bone Veronica. Yes, because that's what you do. When and of you're... course, her first thing is, "How dare you change your hair from being yes. red?" That was that How was that was funny you. because that is his most like important trait. Yeah. Which is why it could only last for like less than half, like it makes less than our, half an episode. That's how people recognize it. Exactly. That's why he died. I feel like it was in the contract. There's, it's apparently yeah. there's no redheads in yeah. here for some reason. Even though everyone's a redhead. <laughs> I was actually surprised that he came back like first scene. You yes. Because the promo definitely made it like, oh, everyone's really upset and Veronica's crying and whatever. So I yeah. thought that people were going to think he was dead or at least that he was going to be like no. lying in a hospital. They did not waste any no. time on this he, episode. He's superhuman. Like he literally, he got <laughs> mauled by, by a bear. bear. He was like sleeping with his eyes open like a dead person. And then he <laughs> still walked back from Canada yeah. into Riverdale and like had only a couple of scars on his above his shoulder. That, yeah, I like, find I find some problems with that for sure. <laughs> How he just is like, okay, bear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make it look good. I need a cool one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had like reconstructive surgery or something. Like I don't know what was red happening. Red scar yeah, that he gets. Exactly, exactly. And of course he had to take off his shirt to to show us. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, what, what that's that's also in the contract. <laughs> that and the red hair. Yes. Speaking of being in the contract. These high school kids have way too much sex for their own good. But it's mostly <laughs> Veronica and Archie having Yeah, it's true. Um, oh, maybe just Veronica, because, yeah. I mean, she and Reggie. Well, yeah, but we didn't really, we're not really in okay, seeing yeah, good it. Like, point. like, we just see them all the time. It's very good And point. this, it was twice this episode, right? Yeah. It was like, makeup sex and then breakup sex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? They got, they're doing what they got to do, right? <laughs> so. And, oh, right. Speaking of which, Archie walked to Riverdale and then had, like, a sexathon. So, yeah. again, superhuman I mean, regenerative I'm abilities. I am not surprised. <laughs> Who's surprised? Yeah. <laughs> what was your take on new Archie, Archie 2.0? Yeah, he was so moody. Mm -hmm. So moody. That whole, like, like, I couldn't even sit through Veronica's song for two minutes. How long That was, was so song? disrespectful. I, this, I don't like new Archie at all. <laughs> he is too moody and too, like, PTSD. Emo. He's super emo. Yeah. I don't. I don't like him. Yeah, I was. I was actually surprised by how not different he was. Like, yes, he was moody and emo, but like nothing else was going on other than other than his hair, hair yes. color and his like war flashbacks <laughs> to the grizzly bear we never saw and yeah. Hiram. Yeah. Which, which speaking of which, like I don't like Archie has been all season long mm -hmm. saying he wants to kill Hiram, mm -hmm. right? And this episode he was just fantasizing about it or. In the terrified mirror? of it? Yeah, in the mirror. He's just like some crazy yeah. images. Um, he so, some help. <laughs> so when Hiram was shot. Oh yeah, also he doesn't drink strawberry milkshakes yes, anymore. He that's... drank a root beer milkshake. <gasps> Disgusting. I don't know. That does sound actually really good. I do like root beer floods. I actually I actually hate root beer. What? I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't you know, know what? what root beer did to me. Why don't we drink milkshakes on the show? We should be drinking milkshakes. We really milk need to start doing that. Oh my god, you're so smart. Show. Next well, time. Is next there time. even a place by here? We don't know. We'll, we'll find out. out. We'll find out. It. Send, I was going to say, <laughs> send us milkshakes. Send us. <laughs> there's the badges right there. <laughs> send yes. us a milkshake and you get a badge. Exactly. That's it. That's it. Super chat or milkshake. We take them both. <laughs> oh. That's it. That's our currency. Yeah. But anyway, so when Hiram was shot, I definitely thought Archie did it. That was my first instinct. What I was, mean, they did kind of drill it into our brains throughout the whole episode about how badly he wants to kill him. Mm -hmm. So somebody looks pretty guilty. Yeah. And so then when Veronica ac ac accused him, I was like, for a <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. <Me? laughs> and then I was how like, dare you? Exactly. And I too was like, how could you do that, Veronica? Oh wait, I was doing that yeah. just now. Yeah. <laughs> Up until you said it. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, I also love the fact that Archie is just like as soon as she said it, he's like, oh, I guess we're I guess we're over yeah. because you accused me of a thing that I very obviously seemed to have done. Yeah, <laughs> but, and also 
who cares about your dying dad? Like, <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, on the one hand, I'm like, yeah, her dad does suck. But even when your parents suck, when they get shot, you worry you're about sad, them. You're sad, and your yeah. boyfriend's first thing should be, hi, are you okay? How's your dad? But, <laughs> so we're over, aren't we? <laughs> I guess we're over, because I abandoned my yeah. SAT. Yeah. Um, I love that Heel Life said that Archie was Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3. That is absolutely 100% true. Yeah, All so he true. needed was like an entirely black suit so and then to, like, to break true. dance in the middle of the street. Yeah. That would have completed yeah. the picture. And the emo haircut, except it's not over his eyes. It's yeah, just darker. It's just darker. Yeah, it's just darker. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, with this was the death knell of Varchi for mm-hmm. the next like four to five episodes. Yeah, we're not really sure. Yeah. I mean, I did think that Reggie's going to last a little longer, and then I was surprised because I was like, oh, wow, that was mm-hmm. super short-lived, but now it does look like yeah, it's going to Yeah, he's going to get, like, yeah. he's going to get a second shot, which leads us to the previous Heal Life's other theory that Reggie framed Archie. <laughs> I think it's a pretty <laughs> darn it's good possible. theory. I never thought of it until you pointed yeah, it out. But 100%, good theory. like, Reggie's got something he wants. Yes. He wants to be with Veronica, and how does he do that? By breaking the trust between Archie and Veronica. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, what would stop Veronica from having sex with Archie again? Maybe him shooting her dad. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't, it didn't, he, Archie hasn't been implicated yet in no. the death. It's just, Veronica assumes, and we assume because we've been seeing him have these moody flashbacks. Mm-hmm. So, our Reggie hasn't exactly framed him. No, he didn't But do I do like the idea if yeah. they went in that direction. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. That would be hilarious. <laughs> but anyway. So Veronica now has had a second shot with Reggie, yes. or he has a second shot with her, really. Mm-hmm. Um, what are your thoughts on that ship? I don't know. I mean, I'm not crazy about it. I think Reggie's a great guy, but I feel like, yeah, they kind of like worked together, and they were mm-hmm. like around each other for so long. I didn't see anything building up to it. Yeah. That's that's the problem. You know? Like, it's cute. It's cute that he like likes her so much, and it's cute that he's like yeah, has no cute. issue with like her epic love story with Archie. He's like, I'll just wait it out. And he doesn't seem that into Veronica. He was like already flipping through Bumble. That's true. And he's like, Look, I, I love how he was like, love is so hard for me. Love yeah. is so hard. Never mind. So hard. Never JK, mind. I got a match. <laughs> and then he's also What happened back. to that girl? Exactly. We never get to see that date. That looked like a total, um, what's that site where you buy stock photos? Oh, oh, okay. It looked like a stock yeah. photo. Yeah, it did. It did. It so, did. Yeah, probably, that was, it probably was a That was definitely photo. not a character we're going to be seeing. <laughs> I don't think It would have been funny in. if we had seen her, and then it was, of course, like a catfish, right? There was yes, a stock photo. That, it was a totally different person. That would be pretty good. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. You can't have that storyline now, Isn't Reggie. it weird that they kind of brought that up? Mm-hmm. I feel maybe they're going to play into mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Or, like, maybe they have, like, <laughs> but yeah, product placement. Yeah. For product, Bumble. Product placement. Because otherwise... Bumble. That's right. Sponsors. <laughs> they need money. I, yeah. All right. That's fair. Next. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> all right. So moving on to, um, I guess, the, the reason that they broke up was Hiram, right? Mm-hmm. So Hiram has his hands in all the pots. Yes. Right? And he almost got what he wanted this episode. He was even, yeah. like, he was even um, threatening Hermione. Y- yeah, hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Which, I feel like the mistress yeah. is going to come in real soon. Maybe now that mm-hmm. he's, like, dying, she's going to come and show up. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was, I was almost, like, I almost thought, what if Hiram her, her actually dies? And then it's, like, his will. He leaves, oh, like. leaves everything to the To what's her face. Yeah, and that's why she shows up. But I feel, that can't be it. Because I feel like she was more of, like, a guest star. Yeah, probably. It didn't seem like she had a recurring role. It right. seems like she just popped in. She's just in. there for an episode. Yeah. So I feel like that's not enough time. So it's just that. visits. Maybe like that is a good. Was... Maybe it's like most of it plays out without her there. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe. maybe. It's a good. Maybe. It's a... But but I can't see him killing. Them exactly. Off. Like it, it, it's kind of like even even more so than killing Archie off. Killing Hiram off at this point seems like impossible. Yeah. Because he's tied to he's... every single storyline. <laughs> you can't kill Hiram. He's exactly. like a cockroach. He's doing everything. Like so he was putting Cla- Claudius Blossom mm-hmm. as the new mayor. Mayor. As a new yeah. sheriff. Yeah, as a new sheriff. Yeah, which Hermione could not have because he is totally corrupt. Yep. Drug dealing. Shady and he was partner. even like, me? Sheriff? Yeah. What? yeah. Why? <laughs> but the funny thing, though, is that instead of Claudius, the drug dealing corrupt shady business partner, she puts FP, the, like, yeah. ex-leader of the serpents who yeah. just got out of jail last year. Yeah. So... I'm not sure what Hermione's play is there other than, like, yes, it's good to have protection, you know? So FP doesn't have an agenda. Presumably. I mean, she must be planning So I wonder mm-hmm. if she's trying to make the town good again. Yeah. Like. I would hope so. I don't know if I'd consider FP good, because he was with the serpents. Mm-hmm. 
but I feel like he would try to help the town a lot more than Hiram would. Hiram, sorry. That's, you love Hiram. It's all right, Hiram. Hiram. He's He-Man. One He-Man, of, Hiram. One or the other. <laughs> you never know. But yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I think that FP is a good guy. Yes. Even if he doesn't always do the right thing. He does, sometimes does the wrong thing for the right reasons. Yeah. Right? And that brings us to that ending twist. Yes. Oh, when he showed up. Yeah. I was not expecting that. No, was like the I was last not, thing yeah, I was expecting. I was not expecting that either. But, like, when Hermione, like, appointed him or did the thing, she's like, oh, it's time, right? And they were, like, in front of Claudius's, like, dead body. Yeah. What happened there? Did one of them kill Claudius? Who, or were they just like, oh, thank God he's dead. It's time to implement our... <laughs> what if people died this episode? Yeah. And it's kind of like, all right. Or, like, almost died. Because, okay. okay. Do we think that they're connected? No. I think that two things... I think that um, uh, Tallboy's death, mm-hmm. I think that... Um, Fangs and Sweet Pea. Sweet Pea, thank you. Mm. Their names are just so crazy. We're hooking up. Yes. Tall boy interrupted them. I think that they're corrupt and that okay. the Gargoyle King has gotten to them and they're. Because I think it's super weird how they just happen to kill him. Like, they're one guy that they can question. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the true. One guy that they You're can question. You're right. And he so I, left with those two who ha- were like undercover. I don't know. Was P. Sweet Pea undercover? No, Sweet Pea wasn't undercover. Okay. But well, he loves his fangs. Yes. So, so I think. Feel like mm. someone's corrupt, and they did. Okay, that's purpose. interesting. That's interesting. Because yeah, I was like, I was totally taking a face value. Like, oh, he tried to escape, and they actually killed him because they're really bad at not doing crime. But maybe. Yeah, I was like, I did not. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't mean to kill him, and I just did. <laughs> like, how? Is... But maybe you're right. Like, they purposely killed him so that he would not be able to out like the real Gargoyle King yeah. to out Fangs' his role. I mean, because in... honestly, their mm-hmm. motivation is money. They need money. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe they were bribed. Okay. Especially okay. if the king is Hiram Lodge. Yeah. Hiram Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Whatever. Yeah. Because he, he doesn't. Money. He doesn't deserve to have his name pronounced properly. <laughs> that's what. That's what. He'll be Hiram here. from now on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, Toku Kid, as always, has a point. Um, Archie might be suffering from some kind of like split, right? Like Ooh. breaking mirrors when he's imagining okay. killing Hiram. So it's possible that Hiram, at the very least, like, he could have shot Hiram and not known he did it. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe he could. <laughs> it's not likely that he's the Cargo King, but it's possible. Yes. It could happen. Yes. <laughs> that he's doing things he doesn't even know about. He wasn't even in Canada this whole time. He was actually just <laughs> in the shack next door. He just just himself. Imagine. There was no bear. <laughs> exactly. That's why we never saw the bear. I think we've solved it. I think that that is actually, that, that's accurate. That's it. <laughs> solved. Heard it here first on Ginger yeah. Dale. <laughs> okay, so what else have we not talked about? Because we kind of jumped to the end Betty. a little bit. No, that's right, Betty. You got to talk about Betty. I, I, we were talking about this before, but I'm mm-hmm. kind of bummed that they don't really have the Betty Veronica friendship like they do in the comics. Yeah. There's kind of like, they're just on their own path. Right. Like, they, mean, they, they met for milkshakes. Yeah, I want to see them together. Mm-hmm. I want to see that friendship. Yeah, and we get like twice a, a season. We have like a nice mo- like moment for them, or like they plot something like together. Betty's not but, even at the club to watch yeah. Veronica sing. Um, so, Betty's mom pulled a fast one on her. Okay. And not only did she like freeze her, you know, account or whatever, but she... she drained her trust fund, her, like, college fund. No, not only that, but she also had signed, like, a document from her and her father. That he's not going to college anymore. (laughs) But it's also really just an excuse for Betty to be able to go see her dad, right? that's a good point. So she has to go to her dad to get the signature. She knows that it's forged, Mm -hmm. and she goes and confronts him, like, hey, I know this isn't forged. I need you to sign an affidavit, affidavit that it is a forgery, and then he... Gets into her mind. Yeah. He was, like, taking some Hannibal Lecter lessons. Like, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> he's, like, a whole new person. Exactly. As soon as she went in there, he's like, talking. He was talking weird. Mm-hmm. I was like, who is this man? Yeah. Like, now that everyone knows he's a murderer, he can be, like, his true self. I was like, okay. He's like, I've been, I've been <laughs> hiding this side exactly. of me all along. <laughs> exactly. Um, but one thing that hasn't changed is that he does want his his baby girl to, to hang out with him. Yeah. So, so he... Tells her this tall tale about how he was the original I, Gargoyle King. Yeah, and I thought we had some answers for a yeah, second. Yeah, for a second I was like, that makes total sense. And then I Betty, buy that. Betty doesn't give up. Yeah. Betty, you know, sleuths until she finds mm-hmm. out the real truth, yeah. which is, you know, perfect for Betty. Yes, it is perfect. But what I, okay, so first they were saying that Alice was visiting, right? Yes. Like, oh, Alice is visiting. And she's like, but she hasn't, he hasn't, she hasn't like, seen him in months. My mom has not yeah. seen my dad. There's no way that yeah. she's visiting Hal. And then for a second I was like, oh my God. 
Alice is carrying out the Gargoyle King murders in <gasps> Hal's name. I didn't think that. Right? That's what I thought for a split second. That's a good thought, For a split second. And then, of course, it turned out to be Penelope Blossom, um, <laughs> lover yeah, of <laughs> serial killers worldwide. Um, that would have been my first thing, though. Yeah. Like, if the guy's like, oh, isn't your, your mom's name Alice, uh, Alice mm-hmm. Cooper? And she's like, yeah. Next thing what would be like, like, yeah, what do you, like, what is the girl look, coming and looking like? If yeah. she so did not believe that right, it was exactly, her mom. Exactly. But it took her a little bit. It took her an it extra did. scene to get there. Yeah, they needed to kind of spread out these. Exactly. These re- big reveals. But yeah, and so then when Pen- Penelope turned out to be the one, I was like, oh my God, Penelope is carrying on the murders. <laughs> and still, I was incorrect. I believe that, though. I would totally yeah, believe 100%. that. 100%. Penelope's crazy. She's crazy. She, I do, it does make me think, I don't know why, but it does make me feel like Penelope is the original killer. Okay, you think I, she's the original Gargoyle King? Yes, yes. Maybe not now, but I still feel like Led she's the one that night. killed is to do it. Ooh, I do like the theories that Heal Life is coming up with. All right, let's 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 tell it, tell it to us. Okay, so Heal Life says the brothel gives her more tricks, Penelope, to act as the Gargoyle King to take the fall. Penelope uses pillow talk to convince the men she's sleeping with to act like they are the Gargoyle King. That is I pretty love good. That. I like I love that. that. I like that. Oh my God. That is very good. Because, I mean, she, like, we know that she convinced Hiram, yeah. Hiram. We know that she convinced Hal, Hal to do it, and his explanation that he just wants to hang out with her yeah. is a little weak sauce. Yeah. So I guess it's, I guess it's very possible. Mm-hmm. Hmm, I like that. I like that. I like that's that good. as Penelope is the mastermind behind a bunch of just dudes that yeah. are doing it. I'm totally I like that. that. That's a good theory. Yeah. Yes. I know. Anyway, <laughs> what is Token Kid saying? And <laughs> Jughead cracks in their pressure, takes Pop Rocks, and hallucinates a zombie apocalypse. Right, At I'm this just... point, I would not I would be... not put that past... <laughs> I would not be surprised. Because he's, he's already cracking. He doesn't he need is. drugs. Mm-hmm. He's cracking under pressure from the stress yeah. of his crew just, like, not staying in line. Nope. Nobody can just not kill people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And but it's great that his father is a sheriff now. Because I'm sure that his first act of sheriff is burying, burying that body, body for just him. Just <laughs> bear it on it. Yeah. Uh, which was excellent. That yeah. was excellent. What are we rating? Tell us, you, tell us your ratings for the episode. Yeah. Out of five ginger snaps. Um... <laughs> And then, I'll go first. Yeah, I'll go first. go first. I'm going to give it a four out of five. All right. I think I like the action. They're mm-hmm. getting through with the story. That's not a bunch of nothing happening. A lot right. of filler episodes. And yeah. they, this one wasn't one of them. Yeah, I'm going to be right there with you. Yeah. I give it a four, too, because, yeah. yeah, like you said, so much was happening. I was fully invested. I was like, oh, what's happening now? Oh, what's this? Yeah. I was believing the traps that they were setting for me. I was. And... And then I was surprised when, I think that the only thing that I was like, eh, was when Tallboy was revealed. I was like, that, me too. That's like the like one, him. I'm taking away one ginger snap yeah. for that. <laughs> um, and then he just died again. So he I was did. like, so, oh, okay. He's clearly not the real guard. <laughs> yes. King. But aside from that, I was totally here for it. Yeah. And I love, I don't know why I love that Reggie's just there. <laughs> What's up, Reggie? Reggie's Stealing Archie's like, girl. Like, like that's he's why the he's one there. snapping. He gets, <laughs> He gets the, the ending scene because he totally swooped in at the end. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. To pick, to pick up the pieces yeah. of Veronica's broken heart. I do want to give a shout out to Heal Life because I really yeah. do like those theories. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be sending, we're going to be sending you a patch. A little ginger nail patch. Oh my god! Yes! A little ginger nail oh. patch. Um, and please, yeah, send fan theories to yeah. us because clearly you got the brain. Yeah, you guys have got it. Oh, <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for joining us. And always remember to come back. To that hashtag show TV YouTube, so you can see yeah. us on Gingerdale and on other shows, which is Superhero News Network and Henshin Hangout and other cool things. Lots of stuff. Yeah. Um, and also, check us out on Facebook, um, THS Hashtaggers, and also that hashtag show, of course, yes. for news, reviews, interviews, and y'all's discussions about how dumb Archie is. <laughs> and see you next week. For everything trending. Yeah, in geek pop culture. Thank you. It's like, there's gotta be there's a better line. <laughs> I'm missing <Okay>. something. <laughs>